Hello and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. This is Neil Borate from the Mint Money team. Can you retire with a corpus of 100 crores? Does that sound completely absurd to you? The answer is a little bit more complex than a binary yes or no. There's actually a viral video by Ramesh Damani which explains that if you invest rupees 10 lakh today and if that amount doubles every 3 years, then in 30 years it will grow to 100 crore. Uh, now that works out to a compounded annual growth rate or CAGR of 26%. Now we ask exactly this question in today's video, how realistic is this? One easy way to check this is to look at how much the Sensex has given in the past 30 years. And the answer, if you look at the price return of the Sensex, it comes to just less than 15%, 14.7% to be exact. Now this return of course ignores dividends and historically the dividend yield of the Sensex is around 2 to 3%. So even if you add that 2 to 3 and reach an 18% figure, you're still less than uh, the 26% that you need. But that is just the index. Um, a lot of proponents of uh, equity investing say that they can do better by selecting better stocks than the index. Um, and that's how you can reach your 25% plus figure. So again, we ask the question, well, just how many stocks have given more than 25% over very long periods of time. Now getting unbroken data for 30 years was a bit of a challenge. So we looked at periods of 20, 15 and 10 years. If you had invested 20 years ago, that in early 2001 would be during the dot com bust. And that was a fantastic period to invest in the market. As many as one third of the stocks listed then have given a CAGR of more than 25%. That's an incredible and mind boggling figure. That time was just that good. Now, if you had invested 15 years ago, which is in 2007, just before the 2008 recession, that period was not very good at all and just 5% of all listed stocks met the criteria of more than 25% over the next 15 years. How about 10 years? What if you had entered at the start of 2012? Again, surprisingly, quite a good period. 20% or 1 in 5 stocks has given a CAGR of more than 25%. So the lesson in all of this is that picking the right starting point makes a huge difference to your returns, even if they are long-term returns. But the story doesn't end there. It's not just about picking the right entry point. Human beings have a lot of behavioral biases. Stocks do move up in the long term, but they have periods of intense volatility where they drop 10, 20, 30%. And a lot of investors pull out their money at that time or they pull out their money somewhere along the way. Staying invested for that long a period itself is a big challenge. If you are able to overcome this challenge and if you are able to pick these winning stocks, these powerful compounders, then yes, a 100 crore corpus at retirement is feasible. But let me add one more interesting caveat to this. This is 100 crores in 30 years. If you translate that back to today's money, that's about 17 crores. Again, 17, 17 crores is not a small sum, but it's not quite the eye-watering, the mouth-watering 100 crore figure that you see in the video and various other places. Folks, so to understand our study better, we have with us Anish Telly of QED Capital. Welcome, Anish. Hi, Neil. Good to be here. So Anish, were you surprised by the results? I mean, uh, incredibly high figures for uh, 20 years ago, then a dramatic change if you just fast forward by five years. 
Uh, yeah, to be honest, I was. Uh, when I saw the 2002 numbers, uh, I mean, you know, the I sort of thought we might get about 10, 15 percent, but 34 percent was like really high. Uh, but then, then it struck me that you know we were looking at probably the bust. Uh, it was sort of the, the perfect time to invest because it was the trough after the dot com peak. So in hindsight, yeah, it was a very, very good time. But yeah, the numbers are staggering. Yeah. Um, Anish, so if you had to sort of formulate one or two takeaways, um, what would they be? Uh, you know, like this question that Howard Marks asked, you know, where are we in the cycle? I think even when it comes to very, very long term uh, return, uh, your starting point matters. I think that was one key takeaway from me. If you're going to be a buy and hold investor and uh, you're going to make concentrated bets or you're going to uh, you know, hold on to something, expecting it to be a 50 bagger or a 100 bagger kind of uh, you know, return that you're expecting, you, uh, starting valuations and, and where the market is in the cycle, I think that really matters. And if you, if, you know, uh, seeing that the top, you you put out in the article uh, we put out the top five names but if you see, just see the top uh, in the top ten names you know there are there are two companies which are owned by Rakesh and are Lupin and Titan so you know and those those are two out of the three four companies that he is known known for and that's around the time that he also invested in in those companies and yes. you know and they've accounted for a bulk of his portfolio so that time mattered and you know that. And sticking with it over twenty years, um, you know, you, I mean, can't be under underestimated. Indeed. So, folks, there you have it. Essentially, there are three uh, ingredients that you need to get to a hundred crore portfolio: entering at the right time, um, holding on for very long periods of time, and picking the right stocks. We haven't addressed the third. Uh, part in much detail here because that is a, a vast subject in itself but hopefully our study demonstrates to you that the odds are not so heavily stacked against you if you do manage to do these things and they are not out of the realm of possibility then you can indeed end up with a pretty big retirement corpus um, however let me end this video with one caveat um, the returns of the past uh, 15, 20, and 30 years covers the decades following India's economic reforms when uh, what might have been a once-in-a-lifetime moment of economic growth uh, was unleashed. India also had a demographic dividend. We don't know if this will be repeated in the next 15, 20, or 30 years. So that's something to keep in mind as well when you are uh, investing for the long term. Thank you very much.